Hey guys, Greg D here back with another video and today because I haven't made one in a while um, I'm going to sit here and talk with you guys and uh, share with you uh, what I've been thinking about a lot lately um, just so that you can get some you know better insight some more insight into uh, you know who I am so over the last few days, um, I've been feeling really stuck, really confused. I'm pretty much at um, a dead-end job as far as my uh, field is concerned. Um, currently, for those of you who don't know, I do have my bachelor's degree in psychology. Um, I am three months away from gaining my master's in psychology. But um, I'm really just feeling frustrated because with this job, like with a lot of jo other jobs that are bachelor level positions in psychology, you're basically working a whole lot for very little compensation. So, you know, I'm working 45, 50 hours a week, six days a week, and... Me, I'm, I'm making like $12 an hour and I'm basically living paycheck to paycheck and just that whole lifestyle of working my life away and um, not really seeing any kind of benefit from it is really taxing on me mentally. Um, you know, obviously I could, once I get my master's, you know, the job opportunities um, open up tremendously, but uh the thing that I'm worried about is the fact that, um, for those of you who don't know, my wife is pregnant. So she's pregnant and she's about 16 weeks. Um, and I just worry because if I'm living paycheck to paycheck now, how, you know, am I going to provide for my family? How am I going to make it so that my child, whether that is a boy or girl, which we will find out at the end of the month, um, whether that, you know, whether my child will struggle the way that, that I did. I mean, I grew up with a single mom where, you know, she, she tried her damnedest to spoil me, even though I was, I was an only child and, you know, it was just me and her, but, you know, a lot of times, you know, I, I couldn't get what I wanted. Like I had to, um, save up and, and get the things that I wanted if it was toys or um, video games or uh, even, you know, in high school years, you know, if I, my car, my first car, I ended up, like, my mom couldn't help me at all because, like I said, single mom not making a whole lot of money. I had to kind of work for myself to get what I wanted and I don't want my child to fall into that lifestyle. I, I want to provide the best life that I can. So I'm been I've been totally racking my brain over this. Um been using almost all of my mental energy trying to figure out what path that I want to go. As most of you know, I am a beach body coach. I love working out. I love helping people. Um, and the jobs that I've seen uh, with my master's degree, they don't pay, the entry level ones don't pay that much more than what I make now because I do work a lot of overtime. So um, me making $12 an hour with all of the overtime that I work ends up being equivalent to about maybe $15 or $16 an hour. Um, so you know, and, let, and let's say entry level positions from what I've seen are maybe $16, $17, $18 an hour. And it's really not that, um, I guess, I guess another thing I should say is that, that worries me is once I get out of school, if I don't go back, is any of the extra money that I make let's say I do get, you know, take a job where I'm making $18 an hour, which I believed I figured out to be about $200 extra. So basically $100 extra a week. Now, my concern is that once my school loans go into effect, that extra $100 a month that I'm making 
will go straight to me paying a, off a school loan, and therefore I'll be right in the same position where I am, living paycheck to paycheck for, you know, basically pennies. So I've had a lot of ideas. You know, I, I, I have thought about trying to combine um, the, the love for the psychology field and, you know, personal development and that kind of stuff and um, my fitness and nutrition passion, you know, being a beach body coach, loving to work out, loving to take care of myself, you know, in a way, working out to me is my therapy. That, you know, when I don't have anybody to talk to, when no one's around and I'm stressed out, when I have the ability to work out, it makes me feel so much better. And I want to try to combine those two things. I've thought of everything from possibly being a life coach to a health and wellness coach, like an official certified life coach, health coach. Um, I've, I've looked at degrees online that I can get. Uh, bachelor's degrees, uh, for example, Arizona State University has several online health degrees that I could go for. Um, I could get certified as a personal trainer um, through one of the, you know, uh, one of, through one of the organizations. Um, so really, I'm just so freaking confused as far as where I should go. I, I, I really don't know. I, I've been... Uh, I mean, the only the only way that I'm going to um, figure this out is to obviously take some action, um, you know, try something. I might have to end up taking a big risk, but um, ho and hopefully it's worth the reward. Um, you know, I can't waste too much time here because I, I I need to make sure that I can provide for my family more so than I am now. Living paycheck to paycheck is just uh, it's, it's, it's a constant source of stress. Let's put it that way. And, and for most of, most of, most people, I'm sure feel the same way. It's, it's a constant, constant source of stress. So, um, I really got to figure this out. I really have to do like a ton of research before I settle on one thing. Cause I don't, I don't need to waste any more time. You know, I'm 30 years old. I've got to get this handled. I've, I, man, this is hard. It's, it's so frustrating and so confusing. Um, but I just need to figure out a way that I can make, I guess, my work more of a passion. I, I'm just afraid, too, that if I do just stay with this, the, the psych field burns me out. And it burns any, everyone that I work with and have worked with in the psych field. Like we get burned out real quickly because it's a very mentally and emotionally taxing uh, field to work in. Um, excluding, of course, being like a counselor, a therapist, a psychiatrist, um, something like that. Um, you know, being a, a mental health worker is very, very taxing mentally and emotionally. And you just feel like drained by the end of a shift. And <sighs> basically moving forward, I want to find something or create something that makes me passionate about what I do again, makes me not look at it as, as a job, um, makes it, makes me look at it like my life. And that's why the whole fitness and nutrition thing is kind of, uh, looking very appealing to me because it is something that I like doing. It's something that I've loved doing for a long time and to get paid for it, I think that with that in combination of my psych knowledge would greatly benefit me as far as feeling more fulfilled, feeling, um, will make more money, obviously, but be able to better provide for my family and for my son or daughter, um, who's coming at the end of the summer. So that is what is weighing on, uh, my mind here. So if you guys uh, have any input, have any insight, please feel free to uh, comment below. Um, I'm open and willing to listen to anything really. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys soon.